Hello, my friends. This is an interesting way to do things, but I just wanted to pop in for a few minutes and run my mouth, okay? <laughs> As Rodney, the voice always says, I just want to come up here and run my mouth. Um, I am actually putting my lunch together. My kitchen is a hot ass mess, so don't look at it, but we're, we're getting ready to head out the door. So I, um, didn't post a video this weekend as you may have noticed um and that's because okay work is starting to work me all right <laughs> work is working me <laughs> okay i'm making um what i hope will be like a chicken i guess maybe not caesar because i have this other dressing that i want to use this uh white balsamic dressing i've never tasted it before but it sounded like it was gonna be good so i got it i don't know anyway um oh and i have some chicken in the air fryer so i was telling you guys in the last vlog um that i have been doing uh communications work for um what ended up being a one day strike um which was really cool and really exciting i hope this is cooked all the way because i'm gonna be upset if it's not we don't play around with undercooked chicken <laughs> um okay so anyway it went really really well and it was really cool and just really beautiful i think um as somebody who has organized a union in my own workplace from the ground up you know sometimes um you'll have moments where you might like underestimate the power of your coworkers, or like maybe have doubts about like when it's time to stand up for your rights or whatever it is that you're fighting for um that they'll be with you that they'll stand next to you or whatever when times are hard and it was really beautiful to see um so many people like who had doubts in some of their co-workers just be really surprised and happy to see their co-workers actually proving them wrong right and actually coming out and having their backs and standing with them and it was it was a really really like amazing day um your girl on a personal note like with that is like i ate down when it came to the press i uh got us in like the washington post <laughs> and it's been a good time too um but like i said i've been very busy and i'm getting a little ran down i think but um, this weekend, I really just took some time to relax. I cleaned a little bit. Obviously, I didn't clean this kitchen enough. Um, I was playing around with some cluster lashes. Can you see them? I have some cluster lashes, which they're, they're really easy. Um, it's just the part where like sleeping in them and trying to maintain them after you apply them. That's been interesting. I have gotten these like diced uh, peppers, but they're just too wet. And the, the expiration date isn't for like a while, like for like maybe four or five days. Oh, hurry me in the face. But I do have these chickpeas. Let me put some chickpeas in my salad. And I got some shredded Parmesan cheese. Anywho, um, life has been exciting lately. <laughs> Um, they said the weather's gonna be really nice today. Um, so I decided to wear something fun for the weather, you know? And honestly, I'm just hoping for um, more nice days ahead <laughs> um, because this really is like my time of year. I wait all year long for this time of year to roll around. I was watching someone the other day that was talking about how um, even though we talk about January being the start of the new year, um, that 
really it's this time of year that is like the start of the new year because the earth literally is like coming back alive you know and i feel that so deeply because i can feel myself also like coming back alive <laughs> um and i'm glad i saw this thing because i have kind of been i don't know like getting down on myself a little bit about um where i am with the goals that i set for myself um in q1 and how much there is to do now that we're in q2 and also just like because i have been so busy with work um feeling just like a little nervous because um i haven't actually started any of my q2 goals haven't even had time to really sit and plan them because i'm hustling <laughs> your girl's out here hustling i really wish i didn't have to put this hot chicken in here like this um i'm gonna try to put it like on the side because i don't want to like wilt all my my salad Oh, I know another thing I wanted to talk about, um, not to drag this dead horse, but I want to say more about uh, my thoughts on Cowboy Carter, um, <laughs> the Beyonce album. Uh, okay, so I um, originally I was like, okay, this isn't Renaissance, right? Very obviously, but like, I mean, okay, so I was still listening to Renaissance up until Cowboy Carter came out like it had just dropped the day before okay <laughs> um and i thought when i first heard cowboy carter two times through i'm like okay this is gonna be just like an album that i end up like pulling a couple of songs off and then kind of leaving the bones if that makes sense um but i think i was wrong <laughs> i do have um i do have my favorites now though so my favorites are my favorite favorite like top favorites are river dance straight into two hands to heaven um two hands to heaven is actually like my favorite track on the whole album um i actually really enjoy the song with her and miley cyrus uh which i know i talked a lot of shit about <laughs> oh i wasn't talking shit i was just saying like you know, it feels like black people need to like grab a, a member of the Cyrus family in order to be validated by the country music world or something because that's what it's starting to give. But the song is actually like a good song, despite me talking shit. <laughs> um, Alligator Tears. Alligator Tears is probably my second favorite song on the album. Love that too. But I actually thought that by now I would have stopped tapping in with the album and that hasn't happened yet. I'm still listening to it. <laughs> and I'm like, is it because I'm not listening to anything else? But that's not true. I am listening to other music, um, but Cowboy Carter. And then like I'm learning all these like facts and history and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is a little bit deeper than I thought, you know, because at first I was hearing people talk about it like Beyonce's revenge on country because she came out with daddy lessons back uh, on Lemonade and um, people weren't receptive to it. So then she like went in her hole and like made all this country music and is getting back at people for like saying she couldn't partake which is kind of what it was giving at first. Um, but now I'm realizing it, actually this whole thing is much, much deeper. We love to see it. I'll be your shotgun rider. I'm running out of time now, um, but it was good to see you. Good to spend time, even if it's just for a little bit, me popping in like this. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to edit this a little bit because um i found myself just kind of like concentrating on making my lunch and realizing i wasn't speaking <laughs> anywho we'll talk soon i don't know if i'll have a full video for you anytime soon um but never say never you know i um been thinking about what a um 
spring to summer fashion series might look like because there's some things that I have to do anyway and it feels like I should just record and record those things um flipping my closet for the for the season um decluttering I have some things that need to be tailored um that I'm going to do myself because if you don't know already I sew <laughs> uh you know so I think a little bit of thrifting is in order after I throw away or give away actually um, some things. But um, I don't even know when I'll have time to do, to like actually do that. So we'll see. <laughs> Bye y'all. <laughs>